Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back again and we're doing something totally different this, this episode. We've got the Terry here, like we usually do, and a lot of you guys would have seen me work on it on this driveway, this carport, and along here. But there's actually a little bit of history to where this place, and, and it's got to do with motoring. So what's going on here is at the end of my driveway is the start of a old lost street circuit, racetrack. So I thought we'd go have a look around it and then afterwards we'll do a, like a time lapse thing and check out the track itself. Let's get into it. Alrighty, while we're walking up the driveway, I'll explain uh, a bit about it. In the late 50s and the early 1960s, this was the Albany TT circuit track. And right here is the start line. Now there should be some photos popping up on the video at the moment. But yeah, it was motorbike racing, there was cars going along, and this was the straight. But yeah, I can imagine a place like this might have even been the pits. Who knows? But yeah, we'll we'll go along for the straight and we'll have a look and then we'll go check out these corners we'll go for a walk around and here we are about 100 meters up up the straight there's the start line down near where the house was now this straight is 400 meters long it would have been a great little burner now there's not a whole lot of history around this track so it's been a bit of a mission to find out the information but it is a killer of a track we've got a few really nice straights and it's almost a five kilometer circuit so we'll head up towards the end of the straight and we'll start getting into those turns. And here we are at the end of the Middle Beach Straight. And there's this lovely right hand turn that goes up this hill. And up there, you can see there's probably a left about a couple hundred meters up there. But man, you can imagine hooking down there, probably hitting 100 mile an hour, breaking around here and then pelting up the hill but yeah, this would have been an awesome track. We'll move up. We'll move up to the next corner. All right, top of the hill. We would have been hooking up there to take this left onto Hare Street. And this also is another 400 meter straight up along this lovely mountain here. But yeah, another 400 meters down there. And we're gonna take another left. Let's do it. And here we are at the end of Hare Street Straight, which turns into this lovely downhill left of straight, which goes down to the bottom of there, and then there's this awesome little crossover that happens across the road, which would have made for great driving. Like, look at the views around here. Can you imagine a racing around this 50 years ago? Would have been way less houses. But yeah, time to crack down that straight, move on to the next and down the bottom of the straight we are, and you'd cross this road, which would make for some interesting driving. Down here, hang a left. And here's that lovely left-hand corner to go up McLeod Street, all the way up to the top of that hill, and it starts to get interesting. So moving up, we've come up this straight, and we go up the hill, and here, you might have seen the picture in the thumbnail, Mr. Doug Pierce, and I think his name is, that's a pretty wild crash. And from what I can gather in the history, they said it was the hill climb part of the track. I'm assuming it's here. So yeah, you, you come down the, the track, up the straight, you move over to this crest. It comes up into a left-hand bend. But yeah, how's that, how's that crash? Apparently that, that ended his racing career, unfortunately. You can see there's, there's no safety there. It was a long time ago, but still. What a place to race. All right, up to the next corner. So up to the next corner, you can see we would have come up that crest that we just seen and we turn right onto Nelson Street. Now this turns into another lovely straight that goes up there, which has a crest. It's also another few hundred meters long. And then that turns into Bathurst Street, which it actually is a bit of a Bathurst kind of street. It's a pretty awesome little part of the track. Unfortunately, the current council has ruined it. 
with uh, the way they've tried to stop everyone on racing up there. But moving up to the next um, couple hundred metres straight, we'll check it out. Quickly just going over this crest to uh, Bathurst Street. And we're a few hundred metres up the straight now. You can see that crest that I was talking about. And then we move down this downhill straight to one of my favourite parts of the track. Now when you go down here, it goes down. It's like this corkscrew. It goes to the right, down a straight. And it's just excellent. But you can see the council's put in these things to make you both give way so no one can drive up here. And in the process, about three people have rolled it coming up here. So they've sort of defeated the purpose. But oh well. But yeah, we'll go down to that corner, have a good look at it, and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Thought I'd show you guys while we're just scooting over it. And as you can see, there's this right hand turn lovely corkscrew to a crest that comes over the top to a straight and then yes thank you council and now we're down the end of that straight as you can see it was up there this is Bathurst Street there's that corkscrew corner that comes down to the straight moves down along here onto a left back onto another straight once again taking that left and up Campbell Road for up the straight. Now if you guys hang around to the end of the video if you want to get like a actual how it feels to go around the track because we're going to do a bit of a time lapse as best we can with some music. But yeah we'll head up to the head up to the last corner and back onto the finish line. So we've moved up onto the last corner. Last up we were all the way down there so you've got this lovely few hundred meters straight that comes up and then it moves to this left hand corner going on to the original straight where we came from across the start finish line and here's the final corner onto the straight hey king don't go near the road oi cheeky prick and we finished up here's the final straight now i think it's time that we do an actual run around of it let's do it
And there you have it. The lost trash racetrack on my doorstep. And the funny thing is, it's not the only one. There's another one. If you guys want me to make a video on that one, let us know. But yeah, it's sort of cool having some motoring, motor racing history on my doorstep. It's sort of funny that I'm doing videos and putting them up online. But yeah, if you guys want me to do another one on the other one that's just up the road, that was used just after this one. This one was in the 50s and 60s. Uh, let us know. But some, some highlights of this track were, you know, the, the corkscrew, the nice long straights, and the fact that it's on my doorstep. But yeah, that being a fun video to make. Thanks you guys. Thanks again guys. Till the next one. See you later.